I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. A boy in China is recovering from damage to the inside of his nose after he hid a battery from a watch up his nostril for six months. The battery started to rust and corrode, causing a smell that forced his parents to take him to a doctor. The five-year-old is an Iron Man superfan, and he decided to put a battery from a watch up his nose. So uh, apparently once assault weapons are banned, we're going to now have to find a way to ban Marvel movies. A Jewish inmate on Kentucky's death row is suing because he says he was served chicken that wasn't kosher. Yeah, hey, you know what else is not kosher? Committing murder! A new study shows working long hours has a greater negative impact on women than men because it makes them more likely to eat unhealthy foods and drink coffee. Men, though, well, we do those things already. A man in Australia who crashed his car into a sleeping couple's bedroom allegedly cracked open a beer after freeing himself from his crumpled sedan and declared, I'd better have another beer, I'm going to jail for sure. Two men carrying stolen computers and flat-screen TVs flagged down a Berlin-Germany taxi to transport their loot home. The taxi driver first helped the thieves load bulky boxes of stolen goods in front of a law office at about 1 a.m. and then drove them to their apartment. After collecting his fare and a generous tip, the taxi driver notified the police, who later raided the apartment and found other stolen items from previous burglaries. Proving these guys obviously did not tip the driver enough. Donald Trump may have received an endorsement from President Obama's half-brother, Malik Obama, who has had a falling out with his relative in the White House. He tells the New York Post that, I like Donald Trump because he speaks from the heart. Make America great again is a great slogan. I would like to meet him. Trump tweeted of the support, writing that Obama's half-brother, quote, was probably treated badly by the president like everybody else, unquote. Yeah, it looks like Trump has finally found an Obama he likes. And he's the guy that's an actual Kenyan. A recent study concludes what everybody already knows. Nobody reads those lengthy terms of service and privacy policies that bombard internet users every day. Nobody understands them. They're too long. And they often don't make sense. The study makes the point all too clear. Most of the 543 university students involved in the analysis didn't bother to read the terms of service before signing up for a fake social networking site called NameDrop that the students believed was real. Those who did glossed over some very important clauses. The terms of service required them to give up their firstborn, and if they don't yet have one, they get until 2050 to do so. So just mildly less intrusive than Facebook's policies. In upstate New York, a state trooper tried to pull a guy over, but the guy took off, driving at up to 90 miles per hour and going the wrong way on the freeway. After jumping out of his car, he was caught by local police. The trooper was stopping the guy because his car had an expired inspection sticker. The guy said he was on his way to get his car inspected when the trooper tried to pull him over. And he added, I don't know what makes me do stupid things. Well, we don't either. Because U.S. Olympics and NBC officials want swimming finals to air live in primetime, the U.S. swim team will need to sleep during the day. So the team is heading to Rio with pillows from home, blackout curtains, eye masks, and earplugs. Might I also recommend some mosquito repellent? This episode of Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by the audiobook Bed Bugs by Jason R. Davis. When Mike left his latest student at the terminal, he knew that Dave was not truly gone. The smell would take a lot longer to get out of his truck cab. Mike didn't know that wasn't everything that was left. Here is a sample of Bed Bugs on the audiobooks page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Visit DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com for more weird news, the free mobile app, and our YouTube channel. For DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar. <laughs>